In this video, we're going to look at what cyclic quadrilaterals are and the angles within a cyclic quadrilateral. The first thing is, what is a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral within a circle. But it's more than that. All four corners of the quadrilateral, all four vertices, must be on the circumference of the circle. So if we have a circle, we can draw any quadrilateral we like in that circle, but all four corners must be on the circumference of the circle. So that green shape there will be a cyclic quadrilateral. It can be any quadrilateral you like as long as the four vertices are within this condition, so they must be on the circumference of the circle. So it could be a regular square, or a rectangle, or a parallelogram, or a trapezium, or it could be a completely irregular uh, quadrilateral within the circle, as long as all four vertices are on the circumference of that circle. And what do we know about a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, what we know is that if we look at opposite corners, I'm going to call these A and C, then we know angles A plus C are equal to 180 degrees. And we also know that the same is true of the other opposite corners, the other opposite vertices, so then B and D. So we also know that B plus D is equal to 180 degrees. So that's our rules for a cyclic quadrilateral. So a cyclic quadrilateral is one with all four vertices on the circumference of the circle, and we know that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So let's look at some examples now of cyclic quadrilaterals and questions we might be asked. So here we've got a cyclic quadrilateral, all four vertices are on the circumference of the circle, and we're asked to find x. So we know that x plus 73 is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180 minus 73, and that is equal to 107 degrees. So x in this example is just 170 degrees because that adds with a 73 to give us 108. In this second example, we have a couple of steps we have to do. Now we can see that we have 81 here and our cyclic quadrilateral goes round like this with a little bit jutting out. So in our quadrilateral, we know that those two add up to 180. So if they add up to 180, then this one here must be 99. We also notice that we have a straight line here. And it's a straight line, this whole angle is 180. So we know that x is equal to 180 minus 99 because of the straight line, which gives us x is equal to 81 degrees. In this one, we had to use cyclic quadrilateral and angles on a straight line to find the value x. In this third example, we have a two quadrilaterals inside this shape. And we can see the first one is this green one here. That is a cyclic quadrilateral because all four corners are on the circumference of the circle. And what we can tell from that is that x plus y is equal to 180 degrees because they're opposite in, inside the cyclic quadrilateral. Now, we need to use some other things here. There is another quadrilateral. There's two more quadrilaterals. So there's this one here. But that's not a cyclic quadrilateral because one of the corners isn't on the circumference, it's in the middle. More useful than that is this one here though, this kite shape here. And to use the kite shape, we have to remember our, one of our other circle theorems, which is that the angle at the center, which is this one here, the one in the 30, is double 
the angle of the circumference, so it's double the x. And what that means is x is half of 130. So 130 divided by 2, which is equal to 65. Now, if x is 65, and we know that x plus y is 180, then we can work out y, because y is equal to 180 minus 